Hey YT, it's me again and welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you to show you my MAC Magnetic Nudes Collection. The Magnetic Nude Collection came out today. It is the day after Christmas, so hopefully everybody had a wonderful and blessed holiday. And um, they also came out with the Punk Couture, I think it was. I totally skipped that collection. MAC has been bringing these collections back to back to back so much that... Number one, I have a lot of it. And number two, I'm not a dark girl at all as far as lippies and everything else. So I skipped the Punk Couture collection, but it is out today. The Magnetic Nude, couldn't help it. I'm a nudie, nudist. Ooh, okay, so let's get started with what I picked up. <clears throat> let's see what I picked up. And I wondered did this girl give me the wrong stuff. Yes, she did. I'm going to show you, but I have to take this back. Because I just seen that this box says Punk Couture. She gave me Punk Couture that I will never, ever wear. So I'm not going to swatch it or do anything to it because it's going back tomorrow. Okay? So I'm not even going to swatch that one. Okay, so I did, I got to figure out what I'm missing. A Quiet Roar was one that I did want, and it was a lip glass, and it looks like this. And I'll swatch it for you because I just think that it would be so pretty over my new lipsticks. So this is A Quiet Roar. Very pretty color. Put this over here. I got to figure out what I'm missing. Oh, God. These girls, you got to watch them. <sighs> okay, so. Let's go again. Oh, my darling. I did want Oh, my darling. So, I'm glad that that's not one that I'm missing. So, let's open this one. Check my receipt, too, huh? That's this color. And I will swatch that for you since it is one of the ones that I wanted. And oh my darling is the top color here. And I just feel like that would be very pretty over a nude lipstick or alone. So the next thing I got, oh I'm so nervous. Close Contact. I think this is one that I wanted. I think this is a nude name. Close Contact. Cross your fingers. Yes. Ugh. Here's close contact. And I'll swatch that for you. And that that is close contact. And I just felt like any of these two glosses would be beautiful over close contact. And close contact, in case the camera is not showing it, is a peachy nude. I want to go back and get the other nude one. But close contact is a peachy nude. And there was a nude nude that I felt like was really close to one of the nudes that they came out with already and one of the Rihanna nudes, so I didn't um, get that one. Okay, Instigator. Let me see what Instigator is. Oh, wow. I had to check my receipt because here's Instigator, part of the Punk Rock collection. <sighs> and uh, it'll never get worn. So... Wow, that's two that have to go back to Mac. Okay, I don't want to hold you guys up, but I do have to check my receipt. And she did give me my extra dimension eyeshadow. I got this in a natural flirt. Open that. I don't usually buy MAC eyeshadows because I have so many palettes. I threw it on the floor. Palettes and stuff that I don't feel like I need to spend $20 on one eyeshadow. But I did get this one. And I will show you this one is right here. And it was just really pretty goldish color. Okay. So that was that eyeshadow. And the last thing that I got, which everybody keeps talking about, Superb 
mineralized skin finish extra dimension sorry skin finish so we're going to see what that hype is all about because i wasn't really buying mac like that when this came out the first time just lipsticks here and there or whatever so here's superb and i will swatch it even though i know everybody had superb except me but this is uh superb and I know you can't tell because of the lighting. I don't even have anything on my face too much today. But I'm going to enjoy playing with this baby and seeing what the hype about that was all about. So that's all I picked up from this collection. Follow me on eBay. If I can't take these two punk coutures back, I will be selling them on eBay or something. So follow me there. If anybody wants to trade or swap some nudes for those two, I don't know, contact me. On um, why did I say eBay? Oh, I gotta stay off of that. Well, anyways, contact me on Instagram and see if I was able to return those. And if not, I want to switch them with somebody. I am not going to wear them. Never going to wear them. Okay. So, anyways, I went to Macy's, and I know I did a little rant before about it, but let me just tell you today that I will give them. Their props on this collection. Macy's opened at 6 a.m. I don't think anyone knew that they opened at 6 a.m. When I called the store and talked to the girl Christmas Eve and the day before that, she told me they were opening at 8. When I went online and checked their hours, it said 8. They actually opened at 6. Evidently, no one knew that. Because I got there at 7.50 to get my spot in line. And I'm like, people are walking in there. The gate's up. What the heck? So I go boiling in the parking lot, okay? Like, it's 50 cars in the parking lot already. You know, and I go running in there to the girl, and I was like, what is going on? And she was like, we opened at 6, but I was her first customer. So evidently, people were in there to shop for the Macy's uh, after Christmas sale or whatever kind of sale Macy's was having. But I was still the first person there for this collection. So that was a good thing. No fighting, no riots, no picketing, no pushing, no shoving. No, we're out of this or we're out of that. As you can see, I got some extra of that. Um, yeah, but that was it. So I'm pretty satisfied with this collection here. Okay, so uh, there's Karima. I don't know where she comes from. She just floats <laughs> in and out. But I anyways, oh, okay. So that's it for the Mac collection, you guys. Thank you for joining me. Follow me on Instagram. Click that button down there that says thumbs up. And until I see you guys next time, don't forget to play in your makeup.